everyone welcome back to my channel i'm so happy that you're here today because today i'm here to film another vlog video because this weekend is a long weekend we have friday off so tomorrow is off so we have three day weekend and this weekend is also 48 hour mini star hop readathon hosted by stephanie from stephanie's book course so i decided to join i i have sketched the board in my uh, reading journal uh, I will show you better a little bit later uh, when I do my first draw, but the point is to go around the board or like to finish the entire board in 48 hours. Uh, the best case scenario, I think, is four books, which is absolutely impossible for me to read <laughs> four books in 48 hours. That's not going to happen. Uh, however, I still uh, thought it was fun and wanted to join and also film a little bit of uh, the long weekend because we are going to the summer house today so we'll see uh, if I get to film something nice there hopefully um, because it's a beautiful area so that's the plan yeah uh, right now is Thursday five o'clock in the afternoon so I'm finished with work now and the long weekend started and also the mini readathon 48 hour readathon takes place from the midnight saturday until the midnight monday so like saturday sunday 48 hours however uh my boyfriend's parents are joining us at the summer house so i'm uh, they're joining on friday evening i'm sure i will not be able to read as much when they are there so i think i will try to start my readathon tonight i think i will start at like six o'clock tonight uh, even though it's gonna be like packing and going so we'll lose some time there but that doesn't matter that's gonna be kind of my punishment for starting early or not doing the readathon when i'm supposed to so i'm just going to um try to read the most tonight tomorrow before they come and then hopefully a little bit while they are there as well so we'll see so yeah let's just uh, go for roll number one on my board also one of the rules is that you are supposed to do only one roll read the book and then do the second roll uh, with me going to the summer house i don't think that's uh, feasible because otherwise i can't take the books that i choose so i'm going to do a couple rolls now see how long the books are uh, do a couple rolls now and uh, so i can take the books and if i finish them I will take my, you know, reading journal, journal with me so I can do more rolls. Uh, however, I will then have to read books online instead of physical books if I manage to read the ones I pick now. So let's let's do the rolls. So here is my little mini star hop board. So I'm going to use this guy and we're gonna follow the board. I'm gonna do only one roll now and then we'll get uh, cards. So let's let's see what we'll get first. Is a three. That's not ideal, but better than six. <laughs> One, two, three. That is a star. And star means a short book, less than three hundred pages. Well, that's amazing. I love this prompt. <laughs> Okay, first we got a um, short book and that, that was a great prompt for a, such a short readathon. Um, so I was going through all the books, short books that I have to choose one, but I also try to fit it into whatever thon, readathon, to the bingo board. Um, but I couldn't find any short book that I have that is about books, which is one of the prompts. So I will just uh, read this one instead. And this is The Night Circus and Other Stories by Ursula Kovalik. This is a um, short stories collection by a Slovak author. Uh, this book was recommended by Books That Matter when they were doing a translated fiction month kind of thing. So they gave you kind of like recommendations for every country uh, what books to read. And they gave this as one of the recommendations. It is around 90, 98 pages. So that should be a really quick read. So we'll see how that goes. And I think this one I'll be able to read quite fast. So I'm going to roll again. Okay, so for roll number two. Four. 
One, two, three, four. Another star. Nice. And the prompt is a beautiful book. Cool. Okay, from the second row, we got beautiful. So we have to pick a beautiful book. And for this, um, I will be, you know, stretching the rules a little bit. But uh, officially, it is allowed to read a book that you have already started, but don't have like a majority finished. So I'll be reading The Night Circus. I am halfway through. So I have this much left. So I'm like... 40% through or something like that. So I will try to finish this for this prompt. I think the cover is absolutely beautiful. Absolutely adore it. I, I will count this. And yeah, so I have about 250 pages left of this book. So I'm just gonna roll again just to be safe. I, I'm not sure I'll be able to read this much, but in case I am, I want to have one more book with me. So let's see. Okay, for the next roll, we don't want four. We don't want four because we would hit the black hole and then we would need to go to the beginning. So hopefully not four. Anything but four. One. Okay, well, <laughs> that's all right. Is a moon. And moon, we have a friend pick. That's cool. <laughs> okay, and now we got a friend pick. So this time I asked my boyfriend to pick a book with me. I gave him a list, I think, of 10 books. They are kind of like short and I'm interested in reading. And he picked one and he picked The Crank Palace by James Dashner, which is a novella. It follows the happenings after the third book in the series. So this follows Newt when he goes into The Crank Palace. It is 153, 150 pages long. So this is doable. My boyfriend also gifted this to me last year. So uh, it's really cool that he picked it, that I read it because I should. <laughs> and yeah, so I'll be taking with me these books to the summer house. Hopefully we'll be able to read them. And uh, we'll see how the readathon goes. I'm in a car now on the way to the summer house. It is now half past nine. So I decided to start my readathon at 9 p.m. So it's gonna be 9 p.m. today, Thursday until 9 p.m. Saturday. Um, so it's time to start my first book, The Night Circus and Other Stories. And yeah, I'm waiting in a car while my boyfriend shops in the supermarket. And then we have 20 more minutes to get to the summer house. So. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna start reading now and uh, hopefully get a little bit uh, head start before we get to the summer house. back it is now friday noon it's half past 12 or something like that i'm still reading the night circus i'm about this far in what is it seven 59 pages so i have 40 pages left um i just finished one story called uh, an average dead father and that one uh hit me kind of there was something very interesting, that made me think a lot. Um, but otherwise, and most of the stories are very surreal and like fantastical, like very strange things happen and I'm not that big a fan of surreal stories. 
so the ones that are like that, I don't really like that much and I don't get them. Uh, the rest of them, or like the other two that were kind of like realistic, uh, those were very interesting and I, I really enjoyed those. So it's so-so. Uh, so I hopefully will finish soon. Uh, later on today we'll go to see the midsummer celebrations uh, here in the village. Um, so hopefully I'll be able to take you uh, with me. And I'll show you some uh, funny dance that they do, hopefully. Hopefully I'll be able to film that. And uh, yeah, so just keep reading. Soon finish this, hopefully. And uh, yeah, so far going very slow because it's been... I started yesterday at 9 p.m. Uh, so it's been 15 hours of readathon and I read 50 pages. 59 pages so that's not going very great but um, I'm still having fun <laughs> I'm back after a long time because it's now Sunday 10 p.m. I think uh, so last time I talked to you was Friday before we went for the midsummer celebrations which I hope I showed you some clips from there it was a lot of fun but after that my boyfriend's parents came over to the summer house and we just spent a lot of time geocaching outside and uh, playing a game and doing all kinds of stuff together so I didn't have much time to read uh, however I haven't updated you that I did manage to finish The Night Circus and Other Stories by Ursula Kovalik I finished this on Friday night um, and some of the stories were great some of the stories not so much like uh, there is a lot of allegory so, so there is hidden meaning behind the stories and some of them I really really enjoyed and loved and appreciated so much Others I just didn't understand and I wanted to throw the book away because I just didn't understand anything. Um, so in total, this book came out as uh, 2.5 stars, I think. So I think two stars I will give it because I, the feeling of I want to throw the book away was present more often and was stronger than the one that like I actually enjoy these stories. Like I think the author is amazing in writing certain stories or like certain characters but others I just didn't understand it just went over my head and just couldn't get it so um so so uh, and then the second book on the TBR was The Night Circus and I proceeded I think 40 pages since then I really didn't have much time to read at all uh, so I read uh, 40 pages from this I still have so much to read. Uh, I'm like halfway through now. 
Um, so I officially failed the readathon because the 48 hours ended yesterday at 9 p.m. It is now Sunday, 10 p.m. So officially failed the readathon. So if we check on the board, I basically am on this star. I don't know if you can see it. This star here. Uh, next, I also rolled because I thought that maybe I would be able to. Hello. Because I, I hope that would be able to um, finish the Night Circus, so then I would have another book to read, but I didn't get to it, so I will I will continue the board and try to finish it. I know it will take me much longer than the 48 hours, which I actually expected. Uh, however, I failed the readathon, but that's still fine. I will keep uh, vlogging the readathon and how the rolls go. Uh, but it will be in a separate video. So this is only for the 48 hours, the official 48 hours, and uh, I will continue vlogging the rest of the books I'm reading. So yeah, otherwise this weekend was amazing. It was a long weekend, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Today when we were going home, we saw a moose out in the wild. Again, it was the only second time in my life that I've seen live moose outside, like in the wild, not in a zoo or something. Amazing, oh my God. Um, yeah, it's just, it was such a great weekend and I didn't get to read as much as I hoped to. Yeah, so that's all for this vlog. I hope it was somewhat interesting and fun. Thank you, thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in the mini Star Hub read it on part two. <laughs> I have no idea when that will come out, but I hope very soon. We'll see. Thank you guys. Bye.